Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Keep Expert. In today's video, we are going to learn how to represent irrational numbers on a number line from the chapter Number Systems, Class 9. In this video, we will learn how to represent root 11, root 12, root 13, root 14, and root 15 on a number line. So let's begin with the concept behind this. So for this, we use Pythagoras property. Considering a right angle triangle, P is the perpendicular, B is the hypotenuse, H is the hypotenuse, and B is the base. So Pythagoras property states that H equals to root over of P squared plus B squared. So if we take the perpendicular as one unit, base is also as one unit, then according to the property, we get hypotenuse as root two. So in this triangle, we can see base has been taken as one unit, height has been taken, perpendicular has been taken as one unit, and we get hypotenuse as root two. Using this concept, we will do all the constructions. So let's start. First, representing root 11 on a number line. So let's see the calculation, the Pythagoras property. Root 11 can be written as 2 plus 9. We have taken 9 because 9 is the nearest square number to 11. So 9 plus 2 we get 11. So 2 can be written as root 2 whole square and 9 can be written as 3 square. So this root 2 will be our base and 3 will be our perpendicular. So let's see. So we already know how to construct root 2. So taking one unit as a base and one unit as the perpendicular, we will get the hypotenuse as root 2. So this one will be plotted on the number line that becomes root 2. So the new base is now root 2. So base we have got. Now our work is to construct the perpendicular of three units. So taking the measurement of one unit, we will first draw a perpendicular. On that perpendicular, we will measure three units, one, two and three units. So our perpendicular is now three. So root two upon three, we get root 11. So root 11 is the hypotenuse. With the same measurement, we will plot it on the number line. So this is the point root 11 on the number line. Moving on, there is another way of constructing root 11 also. That is, first we'll construct root 10. Upon that, if you take one, that becomes root 11. So let's see. First, we need to draw root 10. So root 10 can be written as 9 plus 1. That is, 9 is 3 square and 1 is 1 square. So our base will be 3 units and perpendicular will be 1 unit. Let's see. 3 units as the base. On that, we'll draw a perpendicular of 1 unit. Now, base is 3 unit, perpendicular is 1 unit. So we get the hypotenuse as root 10. So root 10 will be plotted on the number line using pair of compasses, measure the hypotenuse and plot it on the number line. As it is the same radius, here we get root 10. Now after getting root 10, upon root 10 if we construct one more perpendicular of 1 unit, root 10 upon 1 unit, we get root 11. So root 11 will be again plotted on the number line. So we get root 11 here on the number line. So the new hypotenuse will be root 11 that will be plotted on the number line. So there are two ways here. One is getting from root 10 to root 11 like that or else we can use any other property. The thing is there are many ways of constructing root 11. Now moving on root 12. Now root 12 can be written as 3 plus 9. Again I repeat we have taken 9 because the nearest square number 2 less than 12. So for this you can see here 3 can be written as root 3 whole square and 9 can be written as 3 square. So base will be root 3 and upon that 3 units you can take. So this is one way. So first we will construct root 3 then upon root 3 if we take 3 units we will get root 12. This is one way or else there is easier way. So root 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3. So 2 into 2 that becomes a pair of 2. So we get 2 root 3. So what do you mean by 2 root 3? It is just 2 times root 3. So once we will construct root 3 again we will repeat it that becomes 2 times root 3. So let's see first construct root 3. So we know that root 3 can be constructed root 2 upon 1. So first we will construct root 2 
as you can see here this is root 2 upon root 2 if you construct perpendicular of one unit so root 2 upon 1 we get root 3 so this one will plot it on the number line so this is our new base root 3 now as you said 2 root 3 we said 2 times so first we'll measure root 3 the same measurement from root 3 again we'll start and mark another point that becomes 2 root 3 let's see it again whatever the measurement of root 3 again we'll repeat the same thing and we get 2 root 3 so 2 root 3 is same as root 12 so in this way also we can construct root 12 next root 13 let's see so root 13 can be directly written as the sum of two square numbers that is 9 and 4 so 3 square upon 2 square so first we'll take base as 3 units upon 3 units we'll draw a perpendicular first using a protractor on this perpendicular we'll take 2 units so remember whatever is the base we have to consider the square section so 3 is the base so 3 squared is 9 2 is the perpendicular so 2 square is 4 9 plus 4 becomes 13 so our hypotenuse will be given by root over of 13 so this will be plotted on the number line taking the radius as root 13 we will plot it on the number line and get our required point root 13 next root 14 so root 14 can be simply drawn upon root 13 root 13 upon 1 will get root 14 so we know already seen how to draw root 13 so we'll just construct 3 upon 2 and we get root 13 after getting root 13 we'll place the protector at the point root 13 and construct a perpendicular of one unit so root 13 upon one unit we get root 14 root 13 upon 1 we get root 14 measuring this hypotenuse we'll plot it on the number line and we get root 14 as our new point or else root 14 can the nearest uh, uh, square number less than 14 is 9 so we'll take 9 as one square number and 5 is the non square number so in this process what happens first we need to construct root 5 so root 5 will be our base and 3 will be our perpendicular now let's see how to construct root 5 so root 5 is nothing but root over 4 plus 1 so 2 squared upon 1 square so 2 upon 1 2 will be the base 1 will be the perpendicular let's see first how to construct root 5 so this is 2 units in the base and 1 unit in the on the perpendicular so 2 on the base 1 on the perpendicular will give us root 5 plot it on the number line so this is our new base root 5 so we see that we have already got root 5 only the remaining part is the perpendicular 3 units so here we first construct a perpendicular line on root 5 then take 3 units so 1 2 and 3 units so root 5 upon 3 root 5 whole square is 5 3 squared is 9 so 5 plus 9 becomes 14 so our hypotenuse will give us root over of 14 so this root 14 taking this radius we will plot it on the number line and get root 14 the last one that is root 15 same concept first we will construct root 14 then upon root 14 we will take one unit we will get root 15 so we already just now we have seen how to get uh, root 14 so for that first we construct root 5 upon root 5 we can take three units that will give us root 14 so root 14 can be drawn like this or the other way so first our aim is to get root 14 upon root 14 we will construct a perpendicular on this perpendicular we will take one unit root 14 upon one unit will give us root 15 so root 15 will be plotted and here is the point root 15 on the number line Thank you for watching this video.